If Iga is the better mover, the taller Arna is the slightly bigger hitter. And she may be able to level the playing field on this faster court. After 12 days of often unpredictable results, the Madrid women's tournament ends the way many of us assumed it would, with a showdown between the two best players in the world. Sviatek and Savalenka are starting to build the type of back-and-forth rivalry that has always drawn fans to the sport. Sviatek won their last meeting in Stuttgart in April in pretty convincing straight-set fashion. She hasn't showed any signs of letting that momentum slow in Madrid. Today I felt I got the rhythm and got used to the altitude. Sviatek said, after skipping last year's version of this tournament. The WTA as number one has been a quick study in 2023. She has dropped one set and just five games. In her last two matches, even top seeds don't usually win their semifinals by scores like 6-1, to 6-1. to one. But Sviatek has made a habit of it over the past year. Last month in Stuttgart, Sviatek beat Sabalenka 6-3, 6-4. Now she'll face her again, in faster conditions. Sabalenka has been almost as good as Sviatek so far in Madrid. Dropping one set and running away with her own semifinal against Maria Sakkari, 6-4, 6-1, in a dream matchup. Number two meets number one in a third times in Madrid Open. Best of luck, ladies. In the Madrid Finals.